What's up guys and welcome to another video from me, this Garander and uh, today we're actually going to talk a bit about the suspect from um, this moment as of right now, this moment console is debating whether or not Mega Peter should be banned from UU to BL and um, a few guys saw that was this coming, I definitely didn't or actually, I mean, I haven't really followed up on how big Megapidget actually became and Megapidget is actually becoming you know a really really good Pokemon now it has been a debate whether or not it's strong enough to you know, hold its own in a higher tier now it does well in OU don't get me wrong here it is definitely outmatched by well a lot of Pokemon and in RU as I debated before um, I really really was very surprised when Megapidget left uh, are you because of um, well the good walls that was in are you that was of course uh, Cresselia and Slowking now they're obviously moved to you as of right now and um, that alone should probably say something and uh, as a as a standalone Pokemon because Pidgeot is really, really shown his brawn it's it's not really that bulky it's not really its prime thing it's more that its speed you know is 120 one, I believe, so it outspeeds other Pokemon with 120 base, which is actually really good. And in UU, it really just cuts it as much better than most people suspect. Now it is able to outspeed the likes of Azel and can do a considerable amount of damage to them. And in contrast with 135 special attack and a stab move like Hurricane and moves like Heat Wave and uh, the ability no god which a lot of people was debating was bad for it actually turned out to be quite um, well obviously quite the ability considered that uh, the things that could kill the stone edge uh, move that is uh, it's not really that big of a threat to it because let's face it Pidgeot is still able to outspeed and can actually u-turns if it's so desired so Mega Pidgeot became like I said a very very huge threat to the tier and Yu Yu is, well, it's 120 base speed is really good, and 135 special attack is just about enough to dent a lot of things. So, the reason for the suspect is not really as much as it is broken as it is hard to switch into, much like Landers was, or Landers I was in OU, that the issue wasn't really that the stats were broken, but more. The stab move in Bone with the Pokemon was able to do a lot of damage and very hard to deal with properly. Now you could debate that the likes of Rhyperior could deal with this Pokemon. Rhyperior is definitely not that common in this tier and it's been RU after all. So there is not a, whole po a lot of good Pokemon that is of course stoned or steel that could deal with this. Even the steel Pokemon of course is not like this. Mega Aggron has issued dealing with Mega Pidgeot. And Aerodactyl can't take two Hurricanes in a row unless it's invested because it's, well, special defense is quite pitiful. Now I know what you guys are thinking that it still has an issue of Mega Evolving until that point it's not that good using. People know this and people are really using it to that kind of ability that make this their team bound with the Mega Pidgeot and um, yeah, Mega Pidgeot is just one of those Pokemon that, like I said, can do a very, very high amount of damage and has very few real checks and counters. Like I said, a Scarf Pokemon can deal with this, but um, there is as far as it goes. Like I said, its speed is an issue, even in UU. Uh, now, I will say this, just to bait the OU aspect of what this will result in, is that now, we, let's say this thing actually gets BL, that means it only can use Beast in OU. That also means that it probably going to be in BL for quite some time. We really need to raise the usage to drop again. It's not good enough for OU. Um, I'm sorry to say it, but it comes down to that. What makes this Pokemon still unique in UU is its 121 in speed. Uh, 121 is really fast, like I said, in UU, not that much better in OU. And of course, that the Talon Flame is still a big deal. Uh, when it comes to dealing with a Pokemon like this, and of course we got a Scarf Landers which actually can deal with this Pokemon quite well, and you know we still got the likes of Blissey and Chansey. Now I do believe Blissey is still UU, but uh, still I do believe that there are plenty of walls in OU that can just shut this thing down, and it does send him a bit because, like I said, Mega Pidgeot is very very unique, and I'm glad to see it climbing. 
and I think it makes me even glad to see that the things that people were debating from the get-go when it comes to this Pokemon, how bad it were, really has uh, been damped down, you know, to such of no guard, uh, lack of good stab coverage and heat wave being probably the best <laughs> accessibility move for uh, dealing with some of his weaknesses, that that thing is kind of pawned down and it comes down to the simplest of the fact that Mega Pidgeot can hold its own really well and it's now used so well it's com considered a threat in the second higher tiers of, well, the tiers. So, very, very cool, very, very glad. Like I said, I'll easily see this thing go from you, you with that in mind. But at the same time, I don't see it sticking to the OU tier that well either. And I, just as honest, guys, I think it's gonna stay in UU, but I think it's gonna get banned this time. And then it's gonna get moved down to stay. And yeah, I'll think that's that. But we won't see that move down until like three months from now. So, uh, yeah, I think the bird is dead, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Um, now, I do really want to see what you guys think, and if there's something I left out that might be worth mentioning, like I said, Mega Pidgeot is really, really cool, I'm really looking forward for what, um, what the consoles say, and what they feel about this Pokemon. Uh, like I said, I have talked with a few of these guys, and it came down to the fundamentals, like I said, that its speed is so unique that it makes the bits too good, uh, if it isn't hindered. And very few counters to deal with the raw damage that this thing puts out once it mega evolved. But like I said, what do you guys think? Should this thing get banned or should it stay in UU? Leave your thoughts down below, of course, and I'll read them and answer as fast as I can. And besides that, guys, I want to thank you for watching as always. Make sure to leave a like if you like this video. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. <laughs> and until next time, guys, take care. Remember, sky's limit. Bye.